Hey, it's another coffee collaboration, you guys. And what are we collaborating with the coffee? Chicory. It's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear. And we've had this request a few times. And of course, we've talked about it around the office too. And we decided, let's get some chicory in. Can't buy it in our neck of the woods, but we ordered some in. And down in New Orleans, it's uh, very popular. And it, it comes from the root of the plant. And it's a plant with a you know, a uh, blue blossom on it. And uh, they roast the root and it's ground up. And we're mixing it with the um, Espresso Republic Raven's Dark Roast. So what are we doing? We're doing one part chicory to two parts of coffee. So that would be uh, 12 grams of coffee to six grams of chicory and 288 grams of 205 water. And then we're gonna make it a cafe au lait and what is that? Hot milk, not foam, just hot milk. So we're gonna do that on the rocket. And we're gonna see what it tastes like. Um, where does it come from, the chicory? How did this all start down that way? Well, during the Civil War, they used to get coffee in and they got it from uh, Guatemala, Costa Rica, down that way. And um, the incoming of coffee was barricaded by the troops. And uh, so, they started taking their coffee and making it stretch further by putting chicory in it. And chicory is, was widely used in uh, France. So it was already a known commodity. They tried other things, but the chicory is the one that really stuck and is the best as far as flavor goes. And to this day, they're still using it. It has become an acquired taste and it's New Orleans type coffee. That's, that's where it comes from. We've ground up the coffee to be a similar consistency right here. The Raven's Dark Roast. Now this is gonna pour pretty fast uh, because it is a little bit, the chicory was a little bit coarser. And then as this is pouring, I'm gonna do the milk. Get my milk ready. All right, so let's tear this out. Let's see if we can do a bloom. We'll try. What the heck, right? Actually, it's not doing bad. So we're not looking for foam. We're just looking for hot milk. That's hot milk. Ooh, I just got a whiff. Ooh, hot. Very different. Very, very different. And I guess the proportions are half coffee, half milk is how they drink it. I want to see what it tastes like without any milk in it. Oh, you can smell the plant um, side of it. Yeah, very interesting. Ooh, real different. A little brighter. Yeah, it's quite nice. Hmm. Ooh, that's really delightful. Ooh, that milk is coming through loud and nice and creamy. Very rich. Like that. Hmm. I bet it'd be good iced as well. I bet that would be really good. Ooh. Yeah. I actually like that a lot. I suppose you're cutting back on your caffeine, which this has, I don't believe this has any caffeine in it at all. Okay, we'll do it anyway, right? <laughs> So, hey, thanks a lot for watching, and please do send in any recipes that you might have to use this chicory up. I mean, we have quite a bit of it here. We only used just a very small portion of it. It was, you know, big old bag full. We got four ounces, and we only used six grams. Send in your recipes, comments down below, and let us know what your favorite recipe is using chicory. And it doesn't have to be with coffee. We'll try anything. And subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.